Anne, Wes, is driving along the highway, upset at how things recently ended with his girlfriend, Brenda. He stops at a rest stop, reminiscing about her before getting blackout drunk. The next morning, hungover, he stumbles into the empty restroom to throw up. As he vomits, the man in the stall next to him starts up a conversation. Wes introduces himself to the unseen man, who becomes excited when Wes asks his name, Gatanatho. As the conversation becomes uncomfortable, Wes attempts to leave only to realize that the door is sealed shut. The unseen man in the stall explains that he is not a man at all, but a demigod created by primordial god who accidentally created the universe, including humanity. Incredulous, Wes attempts to peek through the stall's glory hole and over the stall door to see the stranger, despite Gatanatho's warnings not to, as glimpsing its true form would destroy Wes. Exerting its power, Gatanatho punishes Wes by giving him visions of Brenda. Wes attempts to escape, but even crawling through the air vents leads back to the restroom. Gatanathoa explains that its father created Gatanathoa as a tool to destroy humanity. However, Gatanathoa's older siblings sealed their father away to stop him. But now, the god is free and Gatanathoa, having developed affection for humanity, has hidden itself away from its father to avoid being used to destroy the universe. Gatanathoa tells Wes that in order to permanently hide, it must transcend into the ethereal plane, but can only do so if its physical form is satisfied by a mortal. Which must be done through the glory hole. While corporeal, Gatanathoa's powers are weakened, further exposing its location to its father. Gatanathoa is apologetic for what must be done and pleads with Wes to help it, arguing that humanity is precious. Wes counters with his own experiences of his abusive father and how he never felt anything for anyone, except for Brenda. The stress eventually causes Wes to have a breakdown and he screams for Gatanathoa's father to find them. He does, and the rest stop begins to crumble away as the god tears through reality. Desperate, Gatanathoa removes Wes's memories of Brenda to show him what universal annihilation will mean. Wes relents and begs to see Brenda one more time in exchange for doing the deed. Gatanathoa restores his memories, and Wes inserts his penis into the glory hole, only for Gatanathoa to be shocked and repulsed. Gatanathoa clarifies that satisfaction means it needs Wes to offer it a piece of his liver, not sex, and passes him a shard of broken glass. With the Gatanathoa's father in sight, Wes cuts a hole in his abdomen, and allows Gatanathoa to pull his liver out. In excruciating pain, Wes's thoughts reveal that Brenda eventually found a box containing photos of women Wes had murdered, forcing him to reluctantly kill her and flee in his car. With Wes's offering, Gatanathoa is able to transcend into the ether, foiling its father. Reality is restored and Wes weakly asks if this makes him a hero. Gatanathoa departs, stating that he is no hero, and that as entities of destruction, both of them deserve to be forgotten. Wes desperately stumbles out of the restroom and dies. <laughs>